Yo, Meg. Megan V. Stallion. If it comes out, Megan, I promise that you were telling the truth. I will be the. I will make a full-on apology video. I'll be the first to apologize. I made a whoopsie. All right. My bad. Whoops. I owe you a sorry. Megan, I am sorry. I am genuinely, truly sorry. First of all, for assuming that you were lying. And I'm going to explain why. And why I continue to uh, just go. I'm going to explain why and what happened and, and the whole culture. And why they came at you the way they did. <clears throat> now, even though I come on here, even though I come on here and talk what I talk my talk and comment and make opinions, I am still uh, 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 at the like when I'm when I turn the camera off, turn the mic off, edit, upload, get hated on. Promote, repeat, you get it? I, you know, get in bed before bed. I'm, I'm, I'm still a, a viewer. I'm still a fan of people. And first off, this is why I thought, this is why in my head you was guilty. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is why I thought I assumed. You were guilty or lied on that mouth. Now, Megan, I've had the pleasure of, um, it seems like the type of females that I like, all of them like to listen to. Now, I don't know if it's you or the city girls or who it is, but I did not enjoy the rhetoric of a uh, or, or, or the narrative of that is um finesse the end use the end for his money i i i, I got the wettest p i seen you do the wap with cardi now even though cardi strikes me as a nice person when she's away from cameras but i don't know that i'm a listener you know what i mean and when 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 i don't know your personality i never met you they say you're nice you might be, but when everything I hear about from you is use the end, I use the end. I don't care about the end. I do. Come on, son. The end has feelings, bro. The end feels like you're you you you're waging war at me. Of course, I, I'm gonna feel some type of way. Was I a little biased towards what's his face? Sorry, yes, I was. I'm a Canadian artist. I know how hard it is to make it. Uh, uh, like Canada, bro, don't let Drake fool you. Drake had to go to the U.S. to make it. And he lives in Toronto, sure. But he, he like, who, what, uh, what other artists can you name from Canada that didn't have to go to the U.S. to make it? Like, there is no scene. You get it? There's no... I mean, there is maybe for rock and, and, and white people music, but, you know, Drake and The Weeknd and them are exceptions. They have had big pushes behind them. It takes, let me tell you something about the music business, keyword business. It takes money to make money. Gucci Mane allegedly had the trap booming. That's why he got as big as he did. He invested in himself. And he lived in Atlanta, so it made it easier. Now imagine not living in, in a, in a hip-hop music industry place. On top of that, having to put money. Drake had Lil Wayne put him on. So forget everything you've been told. There would be no Drake status if it wasn't for Wayne pretty much passing and then Birdman and so on and so forth. So my point being... 
knowing how hard it is to make it and put your own money up and find hate and sabotage and I know, you know what I mean? So I felt, I related to Tori. I felt like you worked your whole life to get to this point. Because see, Tori is more street, more, put his own money up. Like, <laughs> Tori used to be in Telegram chats with the guys, trolling, talking about he got sweat. Allegedly, funny. So I thought, okay, maybe the dude is, he strikes me like one of us. You know, like someone who actually... Uh, put himself on a little bit. He's not as big as Drake, you know, but he's he's the only Canadian dude I could look at and be like, hey, I can see myself in you. Which brings us to this point. This apology is not scripted, but it is genuine, Megan. I'm talking to you. Megan, I did not understand why people like you. But I've asked people, AKA the girls that had the pleasure of laying down with me. Now, if you're one of these females that laid down with me, I might rap about effing her and throwing her out. But bruh, like we cuddle. And you know, while you cuddle, you get conversations. My haters usually ask this. So why you like AK? Oh, is it bigger than mine? Don't ask that question. <laughs> So, did you, did you, do you and AK speak? Bro, shut up, bro. How about you try to be like AK? Maybe be friends with AK. We support each other. Life will be different, but crabs in a bucket. But the, here's what AK asks when he's in that situation. This is your girl. Is it bigger than AK? <laughs> I asked, why do you like Megan? What do you, like, seriously, what's the reasons? We weren't cousin, I'm joking, but we. what's the reasons for you? Like, what, what do you see that I don't? And I've heard mixed reviews, right? Mixed answers. Meg, here's what I can, Meg, here's what I can conclude what I've deduced from my research of sleeping with your fans. Uh, here's what I have come to understand, Megan. Let me get close and personal. Meg, I have come to realize, and I always knew this part, a lot of people in today's day and age maybe are confident, a lot are overly self-obsessed and think they're confident. But I've seen the baddest bees, you know, the most confident a woman in private be most the most insecure. I wanted to let you know we're all human. And Megan is also human. Now, when the ordeal was going on, First off, I had an incident in my life where I was lied on by a female. And because I am, a, you know, handsome as I am, I, you don't see me hang out with a lot of females. I pick my people carefully. But I happen to be around a lot of female talk. No bragging. And there's a reason I don't do it anymore, especially the kind of females that I happen to like. Now, good girls, you might be like, why don't you find good girls? Listen, I am a rapper slash YouTuber. Good girls, oh, lad. good girls are not just laying around for my type of person, bro. Where do, You got a good girl for me? I try, but again, black guy, face sats, rapper, entrepreneurial. Most people too, don't choose me as a good guy to match the good girl. So maybe later in life when I become a politician. For now, hey, politician, what? you never be a politician. Okay. Why? Because you're a rapper. You rapped about, uh, that's entertainment. I rapped about what? Scamming, swiping. It's all entertainment. Fictional stories. Meet Dimitri Golubov. He was in fictional stories. He was really... Matter of fact, he was in the FBI. 
he was tied up and he was the Russian I was clowning in the in the documentary I did, if you watched it. And he he's now the people's deputy uh leader of the people's uh I forgot. But here it is. Big politician, big leader. People change. George Bush. Some people think he's a hero. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't know what them people smoke, but I need some. You think he's a hero? He has a DUI. All right, people are human, bro. All right. Politicians eat pizza. It's not in my business. Anyway, a lot of people. What makes a celebrity a celebrity? Why do people honor such a person and, and almost kind of worship them or, or support them? Why? Well, first of all, and this is the same reason they don't support someone like me. Because to them, through media, social, TV, you think that person is, is you see them living larger than life, right? MTV Cribs. I, I, liked, I looked at Soldier Boy like that, so I get it back in the day. MTV Cribs. <clears throat> he got supercars. He got all the baddest bees, chains, infinity money. And you're a guy like me, you know, 16 years old, 15, 14 in Arabia, and you're undergoing traumatic events. I, I'm, I won't speak about them. But life is messed up, and you're hustling on your own, trying to make it, going through all that. And people, at the at the time, I didn't. It was nearly impossible, but I kept going because Soldier Boy gave me hope. The internet wasn't a thing. MySpace, Facebook. I was the nerd, right? The cool one. And when I look at Soldier Boy, I see a guy almost my age. A fellow nerd. A fellow black hat. You know how he got famous? How to crank that blow up? It was LimeWire. He was faking the torrents. Uh, uploading torrents of 50 Cent Eminem and instead of be his song. It was a black hat. So he started from nothing just like me. I see myself in him. When I, had, when I was sitting down crying and praying, God, should I keep going? And then I look at Soldier Boy, he made it seem real. Like, yes, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. The last girl, she told me, Megan gives me confidence. I love Megan. She's so confident. So, Megan, I get why people love you and worship you. I get it. I don't worship Tory Lanez. In fact, I didn't care for him or you. Not to say that disrespectfully. I'm just saying I wasn't in tune is what I mean. I care about your life, obviously, and all that stuff, right? But... It just sounded wrong. So look. So now that you know a little bit about me, and like I said, I've been around females. I said that to say, I seen females. Like she's hanging out with her friend. And she's checking DMs from guys, right? Classic. Thirsty guys, right? Classic. Yeah. Leave him on scene. Make it. Hmm? Like, I know that, that's why I, I be mad when females leave me on scene, because I've seen them get around each other and tell each other to, so it's like malicious, you know what I mean? It's not, I'm busy, I'll hit you later. Yeah, leave him on scene. Like, I spill my heart out to you and you leave me on scene? <laughs> you won't see me again. Ha ha ha. Halle. So, I've seen girls tell each other, Girl, just tell it. If you don't do this, I'll say you R word me or S A. Hmm? So I've seen that maliciousness in females where they use their femininity. A lot of people like to pretend that that side of the female don't exist, but we all seen it. We all know it. And I don't. You remember when Karens were all over doing their thing, but going viral? 
they we've seen them weaponize their femininity and the uh, the authorities. And she remember when she told them, "Man, I'm gonna tell them a white woman is in danger." Like uh, white or black, they all use it, their femininity sometimes to lie and, and get a man in jail. Being a black man is already hard enough. All right. George Floyd, what was he trying to buy? Cash a check? I don't know what he was doing, but if he was any other race, it wouldn't be a knee on the neck. Keep it 100. Being a black man is hard enough, man. And if you're going to come at me with George Floyd conspiracies, okay, let's pretend that was fake. What about the other million cases? Son, like, are you stupid? Cops hurt white people too, sure. But me, because listen, no racism. I love everybody. Even though I got face tats and I'm a black guy, if I see another black guy with face tat standing outside my house, hey, bro, I'm more likely to approach him with hostility. I'm not white, and I tell you that myself. So we all know what's up. Let's not play stupid and try to lie to each other. If your girl gets, if <laughs> I'm a black guy and I'll tell you this, and I, my thing is long, listen to me. My member is a big member, and I ain't talking member of parliament. <laughs> Hale. I got a big D word, very big, proud of it. I don't mention it, but some people see me in my boxers, men and women. They're like, hey, yo, bro, put that thing away. It's too big. You're packing. I know. I don't bring it up. If you want me to bring it up and keep show it to you, then keep not supporting me. Then I'm going to do OF and I'm going to collab with your girl because she do it too. Holly. Hear me out. Don't make me do the fans only. If rap don't work, that's my backup plan. I got what it takes. And I work hard, so I'm going to be working hard with your girl. Holly. <laughs> Listen, seriousness. What was this about? Yeah, so <clears throat> being a black guy is hard. I got a big member. If you, if your girl, if you see your girl on camera cheating on you with a white guy, it hurts. But it won't hurt as much as a big BBC. And I tell you that myself. As a black guy with a big member. It is what it is, bruh. So the image is of, 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 of the, the black man in your head is already of, of... So I've seen women lie and weaponize femininity. And even though you might think the black man is big and tough, he's done dirty and he lacks sympathy from the black woman and all women, really. For the most part, at least from what we see online, right? There's a lot of good women out there who understand the struggle, and they're not they're they're not like the girls you see, <laughs> fresh and fit. Yo, fresh, yo, fit. Shout out, fresh, but fit is Sudani. That's my new time. I feel that, bro. Huh? Hit me in private. We need we need to talk, me and you. I'm Sudani. Hold up, though. So, Fresh and Fit and many other YouTubers have capitalized during the time of the pandy. I don't want to say anything. Because, again, I'm sorry, Megan. I truly mean what I'm saying. But man's trying to make some money. You get me? You seen Tori? <laughs> All right. So, look, hear me out. I'm just explaining why I chose sides and why I went so hard at you. It wasn't coming from a place because people have said, I, I hate the black woman. And again, I haven't seen any of them speak for Brittany Griner when she was away. When she was away, a lot of people didn't care. They acted blind, just like when I dropped music. Cool. 
Brittany Griner, who spoke up for her? Very few people. I did. A lot. Go watch my old videos if you're new. My my guys, you know what I did. <clears throat> anyway. Megan, I am not... I don't need nobody money, right? I'm not a multimillionaire. But I'm also not a paid blogger. I speak for the general guy. And my opinions may be different from the crowd, but sometimes I fall victim to the... Because here's everyone is seeing men versus women. They're hearing, yeah, I had to use the guy. I just cheated on him with his best friend. They going for it. Like Fresh and Fit, Kevin Samuels, this period of the world, and everyone had to sit at home. So you had to just be forced. And people capitalized. And the governments and all these guys, all right, I'm not trying to get whacked. I'll explain later. But it worked perfectly because they like having people divided and fighting themselves. Because... While they were trying to pass crazy bills, like the one I spoke about, and people didn't care about, they were too busy hating on me. When I, sp who else did told you about the bill that allowed the robot to use legal lethal force legally in San Francisco, and he had the robot. So the Terminator got the law to l legally use lethal force. Pew, 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 pew. Watch them report it and say, I'm inciting violence. No, I'm inciting you to look at something besides men and women, men and women, men and women, men and women, men and women. And Megan, when everyone was fighting between themselves, I don't want to join the fight. I tried to wake people up. I love women. I love black women. But it felt like black women didn't love me, and they were coming at me with hate, including your fans. And when I was telling a story about my auntie getting assassinated, one of your fans was in the comments disrespecting me, my hairline, all types of stuff. I took it personal. The reason I came this far in life is because of my haters. I just wanted to piss them off. I have a warrior spirit. Okay? I love people, men and women. But during that whole, <laughs> let's call it tensions, gender tensions, holly. Now, these gender tensions were intense, very intense. And two things made them way more aggressive. Number one, the sites that allow women to make more than a man. A lot of them are unhappy. A lot of them, it took the joy out of boom, boom, and sexuality. Ask them. Don't ask me. But also, music helped justify it and make it like, yeah, it's cool. I know this because I tell you what. Because growing up in Arabia, we had the situation for Iran. I mean, we all felt, we all seen it for what it is. But <laughs> what, when they send them soldiers to go do the, do the job, do the mission, pew, pew, pew. nobody wakes up and says, I want to go pew, pew, pew at somebody or airstrike them. But here's two things that will help you. A Captagon pill. You'll see it in my uh, King of Zim documentary coming soon. So a stimulant. I'm geeked. I'm booted. Pew, 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 which is basically meth, right? And... Music that basically makes it, when you hear the music and it's telling you, F the enemy, the enemy did this, we're going to show him what it is. Like that stuff makes it feel like, okay. Megan, your music was the anthem to women basically waging war at us and being like, F the man, I make more than you anyway. Most of these ends are broke. Make them eat my pee. I don't mind eating the pee, but I mind the use the end, break the end. Like break the book. Look at the language. I'm not saying you did, but you let that, 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 that. You did. And in your real life, you live normal. 
I seen you had a boyfriend. I love my hubby. Huh? Not to be hypocritical, men did it too. Snoop Dogg told you, bees ain't ish, but eights and tricks. And now he's married to a black woman for 20 years. So I get it, but tensions weren't high. Life was all right. It wasn't this pandemic, economic crisis tension. It wasn't what it is. Like, Megan, think of the people who are going to college age right now, turning 18, 19. They don't get no P. Like, if you're broke, all right, one of the only things that kept me going in my broke times were, were, were love and, gen- uh, you know, and making love. Now, you got a whole generation of people who got to choke the chicken. And after choking the chicken, when the clarity hits, they are reminded of them being broke. But not only that, they're disrespected and used and abused by people like your fans. And people who live vicariously to you, I love women, all, all kinds, right? But I, like I said, I've seen a lot of women lie. And the facts, like, until the phone call came out, it's you look guilty based on the facts that were presented to the media, even the paperwork. Even when the jury said he was guilty, I refused to believe it. Until I heard the phone call. He wasn't apologizing to Meg. He was apologizing. So listen, there's still that chance, a window of him being still innocent. Because innocent people go to jail and get convicted all the time. That's not, I seen it. I was locked up with innocent people. Andrew Tate is going through it. Look at him. (laughs) They told you he's framed with evidence. There's evidence he's framed. There is no evidence he's guilty, but he's still locked up and vilified. So don't, don't tell me. I know how the game works. My auntie got assassinated by the police. When they went to the police, they laughed it off. She passed away the same way a dog passes away on the street. Can't say I'm disrespecting my auntie. I keep I keep her fight alive, right? Who do you know does it? So your fans, due to the tensions at the time, right? Your situation became bigger than you with Tori. I tried to defend it from the eyes relating to it. And I've seen it like this is an innocent man being framed by you for whatever reason. Selfish girl behavior is like use the end, trick the end, finesse the end at his bag on freedom. Nah. He's Canadian, so it's like double trouble. <laughs> what? I related to him. I was like, man, what? This is why you don't see me in parties. I like bang, bang, and boom, boom, and drink. Sometimes I don't drink at all. But sometimes you want to party. Rarely. But you will never, when, I, when I'm famous like that, hey, look, I might come to one or two mansion parties, but I, <laughs> I'm not a party guy. I'm a nerd. <laughs> Like academics. I'm not a P-U-S-S-Y. Because I'm still from the street. But don't get it wrong. I'm not going to be partying with Kate, 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 Kylie Jenner. Huh? I'll have a coffee with Kylie Jenner. I will consume broccoli. With Kylie Jenner and talk about aliens. But alcohol is not. Yeah. So again, your fans turned it into men versus women. Some females that I, when I was conducting my research, some had me, because I I talk crazy, but when I conduct research, I am very fair to the other side. I listen to them. I don't interrupt them. I hear them out. I'm open-minded. 
I'm not like these idiots. That's why I'm here apologizing. They will never do it. My ego is gone. My ego left my body in 2016 off an LSD trip. I experienced ego death, the real one. I don't just get on here and talk about ego. I have somewhat of an ego, but just enough. I'm aware of it, and I'm very spiritually aware. I try to make you laugh, and I make men and women laugh, but my content, a lot of men envy and think I get a lot of bees. Most of you that watch me are men. Let's be honest. So, so I try to lighten up your mood and let you know that through comedy. And I was going at Megan hard, calling her a horse. And her fans came out the blue and lit my... They put gasoline on a fire. It was some females. Again, that was when I was cuddling and researching. Only for science, guys. I'm... I'm I only did it to, to I only slept with them to, to for science. Some woman, based on the facts, based on the evidence, remember I said the evidence says you says you lied. I don't know you are Terry. I'm just going off of the the, the, the the facts. Some woman agreed that. Yes, Megan is, is 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 guilty, right? Or Megan is lying. We still don't know for sure. <laughs> Life is you don't know what could happen. Shout out to his dad. I felt bad for his dad. But this one chick, she agreed that Megan is could be very high likely to be lying. But you don't you know what she said? So what if she's lying? Men do it. Hmm? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop right there. What? I had to disassociate with her. Because if you think that, what if you could do that to me? You're trying to justify lying on a man and putting him behind prison? You can lie on me and tell, bi- tell B words that I got you pregnant. One of my exes did that. She ruined another uh, uh, opportunity for me. That's why she did it. That's okay. I forgave her. We spoke. It's over. And she cleared it, my name. Some B-words will lie and say you have STDs that you actually don't. I've seen that happen to others. Thank God never to me. Which reminds me, I do need to get tested. I think I'm good, but it's good to, you know. Yeah, I get P-U-S-S-Y. You don't. You call me a P-U-S-S-Y, but you don't get no P-U-S-S-Y. That's why you on the internet mad. Holy. I'm not mad. I'm just passionate. So again, some of your fans acknowledge she could be lying, but then try to say, like, so what? Lie. It's okay, Megan. No, it's not. So it turned into a F the man. So what? F men. Men are dirty. Men are the... Nah, bro. When you did that to the man... Right, I'm talking in terms of groups here. It lit the fire in me. It was like, I'll show you and your fans. And then I went hard at you. In my head, I was, I was defending an innocent man. From, you know, because it's not like he was fighting a misdemeanor. <laughs> He's an immigrant in America. Black one, too. A rapper. Holy. In L.A., California, you know the laws over there. For God. They go, and it's not like he was self-defense at another man. He was doing it to a female. Holy. The book. He was using, it was domestic gun violence. (laughs) By a black rapper? Oh, my God. They're going to give you the book. How many years did he get? Ten? Allah. Ya Rab. Say amen. My fans, okay? I pray to God, if, there, if that man is innocent, that the facts do prove it beyond 
reasonable doubt. I need a video. I need him to admit it. Something. Because right now, we're going off of he say, she say. The jury made their mind up. I've heard the phone call. I felt bad. I felt like he could have did it. But again, he didn't say I did it. He said he was drunk. She, she was also drunk, but who knows. I hope that the girl or the bodyguard speaks about it sooner or later. The case is over, isn't it? So let's see. But until then, I'm a guy. When I make a mistake, I'll be the first one to come here and tell you I'm sorry. Megan, I just explained why. If it turned into, instead of an innocent guy, from what I see, fighting for his freedom, or a guy versus you in court, it turned into men versus women. Because while you were living your best life with Tori, partying with Kylie Jenner, effing the, the other rappers and whatnot, don't blame me. Blame academics. I don't, I don't live in Hollywood. The rest of the population was broke. Not everybody's up like us guys, right? They're broke and divided. They can't come up because instead of coming together to get money and prosper, they're fighting over Republican, Democrat, far left, far right, men, women, religious, bah, bah, P. What else? You can go on for days. People are so divided. And when you come with a message like mine, yo, what is wrong with you? White, black. I love Dr. Umar, and I get it that black people do need to rehabilitate themselves as a people. But my brother, I love, I never had, I never experienced boom boom with a black girl. Don't blame me. It is what it is. Some people use that against me. Let me tell you something. Slavery was bad. But the, most of the people that had slaves are gone. What's left of them is their ideas. Most of their kids right now are alive and well, and guess what? Their favorite rapper is black. If their favorite rapper is not black, their favorite rapper is someone cool with black people. So what are we talking about? We are at the most peaceful time we're in. The only reason you think things are bad and so paranoid and scared of the outside world. Economics, okay, we'll give it to you. I fight for it. You don't help me when I fight for it. You go get divided. But listen, life and the world is okay. They're fine. They're actually the most peaceful time we ever lived in. Back in the day, people didn't have news or a smartphone. News, shout out to the guy who I got this facts from. He did a good video. News back then takes two, three, four weeks a month. Travels by train, a birdie. <laughs> If a war happened, <laughs> you wouldn't know about it for weeks. Then came the new age, right? Trains and stuff it got faster, two weeks to three, mm -hmm. like the mail. Then it, then it came the internet. And since the TVs took some time, and the internet, you got it. Uh -huh. And then it's, like even in the computer internet days, early days, bro, I go on the internet. Ooh, how you doing? Facebook forums. Life was still good, but now you have, you keep it 100. Most of y'all be on some app scrolling. You think you're an effing celebrity, you're not. Most of you don't do this. F your OF account, you're nothing in life. Take away Instagram or OF, you're nothing. Instead, you're so cocky. And you're, you're, you, you think you're a celebrity or trying to be one, crabbing with others, right? Cool. You're not, you're not somebody. I come from the Soldier Boy era, Facebook MySpace. When you made a MySpace account, the first guy was the uh, creator, like the Zuckerberg uh, guy, I forget his name, Tom. And he was your friend. Send requests to Soldier Boy. I loved him. He's my idol, still is. I want to be his friend. On MySpace. Not his follower. Blind follower. Follow. Follower. I love Instagram. 
I was I was on it before everyone. I lost my first account. But we went from having friends and making fun of people with uh, not fun, fun, making fun and having fun with friends, and having friends, meeting friends. We went from that to having followers and wanting followers. It turned everybody to want to be celebrity. Right or wrong? OF came. Men are supposed to be the provider. Evolution, we evolved, not yet, takes millions of years. Men supposed to be the provider. Right now, women make more than men. Most men, at least. It ruined the balance. Now people are at war with each other. They don't even know what's wrong. You want to fix the world? Hit like, smash, subscribe. I'll show you how. And when, I, when you see my messages and positive, and I know they resonate, because my haters, they don't hate me and leave. <laughs> if I like someone, I wouldn't watch them. But you watch me daily to the end. Because you know I have the truth. Whether you hate it or love it. I got money outside of this. YouTube is. But I love this. And I have a mission. And when I think about my auntie. Mission hits me harder, and I, I come back here and do it. Sometimes I demonetize myself. I don't lie to YouTube. YouTube has a self-certification. If you're monetized, you know. I don't lie to YouTube. If I make a mistake, I don't try to hide it from me. Yo, YouTube, I'm tripping. Demonetize myself. I'm about to redo a video I did. I'll explain why for the third time and it will be demonetized my king Azim will be demonetized but I do it you guys chase money you chase money and easy money and shortcuts and I told you I had envious mother, mother efforts in my uh, uh, Kim Kanye video over the blue check on you. I'm not a famous but most people came and said people I never heard from in a million years but they watch How'd you get the blue check? Bro, hard work and dedication. Nah, you must have had a shortcut. You have. <laughs> That's why you're going to continue to be a scam victim. You're going to continue to be a follower. Because if you don't think hard work and dedication is what it takes to make it, I don't have rich parents. I'm an immigrant. I really started from zero. I started with less than people. I came far right, far right, far left, blue hair, feminism, all that. Now, seriously, hard work and dedication is what it takes to take it. Most of you don't put in hard work. You go on Instagram and you take in information that's given to you by people who work hard. And you take it passively. You don't say what you think. You're a coward. That's why you are cow. That's why you are passive aggressive about is because you are unhappy. How about you stop being passive aggressive and go do something about it? You're broke, go fix it, go learn. Go seek knowledge and learn how to apply that knowledge with hard work and dedication like I did and find people that like you and stop hating and crabbing. Maybe seek to work together to help the both of y'all. That's the solution. Seek knowledge. I love knowledge. Money will make you happy. But the happiness is like honeymoon. When the honeymoon is over, you'll get depressed. The more of it you make, the more depressed. But you know what's the, what keeps you alive? Reproduce. Sure. What if you lose the member? You're going to get old, the member stops working. And what? How do you leave your mark on this planet? How do you stop being a follower? How do you get rich in the first place? To have these problems. What Michael tell uh, Frank, I'm going to show you how to have <laughs> rich people problems. I'll tell you how. Two things. Instead of trying to use people and, and be passive aggressive like a B word, how about you try to help mother effers? 
What? I never have. Okay, stay broke. Because one thing about it, you want to get rich, give value, add value. It's simple. And you chase money, I chase knowledge. Chasing knowledge makes me happy. Your ego keeps you from these two. Nah, I want the shortcut. You're going to get scammed. Even scamming takes a bit of knowledge. <laughs> oh, there. When someone tells you a joke, why do you laugh? Hit like, smash, subscribe, but I tell you, because you're introduced to a new pattern of thinking. Uh huh. Ha ha ha. I get it now. That's why you laugh. Think about it. Hit that subscribe button before I hit your girl or maybe hit you in the face in a video game. New videos coming soon. If you like what I do, let me know you like it. Stop being a crab, okay? I read my comments. If you got money and you be throwing money in the strip club, how about you throw me some in a super thanks and I'll give you a shout out. You see my energy, I will get super famous. And then people gonna be want more, so they gonna watch my old videos. They do that every day. And your shout out will stay here. Well, you can keep crabbing until my price goes up. Album coming soon. Hit like, smash, subscribe, it's your boy AK. And Megan, I'm sorry. But if it turns out you framed him, Like taking a number two, right? <laughs> I'm gonna tear you a new one to take a number three in a video game if you were lying. Until then, my apologies is sincere. Reach out and I will, you know, I will really apologize to you face to face. Maybe you don't wanna hear it. I did my part, I apologize. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Peace out, man. Be nice to one another. Stop crabbing. And if you're being crabbed on, I'll save it for a different video, but let me tell you something. Keep going, bro. F the crabs. And one thing about it, the crabs. <laughs> we don't like crabs. We don't talk to crabs. We eat crabs. Holla. We're going to take the crab's girlfriends to go eat a crab <laughs> of course <laughs> all right i'm done